Hello everyone, this is Common bringing you part 14 of my Fire Emblem Path of Radiance Let's Play. A Guiding Wind. A Guiding Wind. I'm, I'm guessing, you know, normally when there's travel in Fire Emblem, you get one chapter about the travel itself. So one chapter where you depart, one chapter where you are on the boat and you get the typical boat, boat map, and then the chapter where you arrive. Uh, here to report the results. MVP Nefeni. <laughs> okay, Soth and Gil. I guess Soth was a new ally. And we go directly into this. Okay, so today it seems like maybe we will be able to... Oh, 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 oh. Beard rank support. A moment. Remember what did we talk about? About when you met my father? You don't want to talk about it? Uh... So to know as much, I'll tell you. I was a Crimean late, I entered to an officer exchange program, was sent to Galia, where your father was. We began training, as well as the commander class might for the first time. Took on wave after wave of knights and defeated them like they were children. The knights barely had the time to lift their weapons. Whoa. <laughs> I took curse swords with him, but he was so far out of my leave, it was laughable. But I asked him to train him and he agreed. And when all had a spare hour, we would meet and spar. We were close, he invited me to his home, that's where I saw you. You were sleeping in your mother's arm and she was smiling. You were adorable. Alright, I see. I hope, I hope How do I say this? I hope Mist is my biological sister. Because we haven't really had any confirmation that she is. And I I get the feeling that if she isn't, because this is Fire Emblem, it could go in a very cringe and very dangerous direction. But maybe maybe I'm just anticipating too much. Uh, well, three brothers should be relevant if it has three stars. Youth. Uh, starting at the sea. Oh yeah, this is George. No, this is Daniel. Your vice use were and his twin brother. Mostly his twin. He has blonde hair. There's Daniel. And I ask a quick question. You're a battle expert. You fought a lot. Mm -hmm. So there are two ships, um, planks connecting them at three different points. That's uh, that's the the ship chapter from F7. Uh huh. The ship chapter from F7. Literally, what should they do? Yeah. You will hold the enemy at bay by using your strongest allies to block the primary crossing points. Then they do a long range attack attackers lying behind. M makes sense. Javelin success for magic. Seems tough on the soldiers defending the bridges. You would want to heal them. But if I don't have them attack at all. That way they won't run the risk of getting any counters. Yeah, I can equipping your weapons. So, is this like literal FE7 meta? All right. And woman, this is the the girl from the shop, AB. My way to the deck. Uh Interested? Well, not really. Uh, wanted to see what they looked like, so I was hiding in the deck. Or they could fly. I have no idea they could fly. Well, 
On here my sweet voice commander you turn around and brought down that crowd with one shot. As we have first got my eye, my dynamic young commander. Is that why my hand lingers on, on mine when I buy things? Have I been too obvious? Maybe we'll send one of the others to pick up our year. Bruh. Please. Hey, what do you want? The reason you're still on our ship. <laughs> the crews are gone. Truce is over. I have a duty. I cannot allow a Crimean princess and her band of mercenaries to run free where they will. If you want to start a fight, you're on the right path. You can take us all on our own. On your own, because if you want to let your friends, I won't stop you from leaving the ship. Uh, watching you all fight those crows. Like a band of street rats with the sticks, I could see you were no match for me. I could take you down with roars. Even if I were to leave you, the land is too far away for me to reach. Nonsense. I can see land in the distance. No one can fly that far without resting. These highlands are thick with half business camp. If I wanted to, I wouldn't leave this ship. Uh... All right, they will fight for something real. There is no choice, I'll take your sword as Venion. But as long as you're on my ship, you will not utter the phrase half beast. If you can't agree to these conditions, I'll kick you off the ship right now. Uh, all right. Ike is absolutely based. Oh, three brothers, of course. The saying there has to be something more we can do. Not making any sense, I understand your enthusiasm to help I. But try to explain what you mean. Can't do anything until we know exactly what it is you want to do. I'm pitching your Grimmins patient. I think we should come up with an unstoppable killer attack, something only we can do. Uh Pee-wee. <laughs> Uh, what is this new attack supposed to be? Map with 3 days, you have to figure out the details. Make it cool, though. <laughs> this person sounds, how do they put it? <laughs> I think I'm a great one. So much for your little peewee brain. Don't call me that. They may not like to admit it, but they certainly are close. Okay, but that has three stars. Why? I, I'm assuming the two stars and the three stars, maybe it's because they start a conversation. And if you keep watching them for more chapters, you maybe get something at the very end. So, for example, the the one with Daniel maybe was a lead up to a future one. So we leave our base. Right? There's someone here claiming to be an envoy from the Theocracy of Penny. She's been asking if the Princess of Crimea is aboard. What do you want to do? A Benyon envoy? Uh, how did she know about the ship? Hmm, perhaps she had a word from King Galli. On the other hand, this is Benyon we're speaking of. I imagine it has spies in every corner of the continent. Perhaps one of those spies is the source of her information. So we shouldn't be surprised that she knows about Princess Elinse, right? No. But it's extremely unusual for Benyon to send an envoy to meet a princess whom they do not have even have knowledge. They don't even acknowledge. What do you mean? It is a complicated matter. You see, the envoy is essentially an extension of the Empress herself, whose Crimea and Dain were once part of Benyon, whose nations have only recently splintered from the theocracy. I can't fathom why the Empress would extend the courtesy of an envoy the nation she must consider somewhat beneath her. She must be planning something. Okay, so they used to be part of Benyon. Beneath her. That is somewhat harsh, don't you think? Harsh perhaps, but it is true. 
Cooking it in sweet words will not hide its bitterness. Will? So then, even I would question the tactfulness of your words. I'll try to be more diplomatic. I, Nasir, you've no need to scold sir. His words are just that. They do me no harm. I'm glad to hear that, princess. But he should mind his mother's. Deciding how we ought to treat this envoy is a more pressing matter. Princess, will you meet her and hear her message? Her. Her. I believe I must. We gain nothing by refusing to see her. Uh, let us meet with the envoy. Yes. I knew this girl. I, I, I knew she is a thing. Pegasus. Uh, pretty popular. Basically know her because uh, you probably know Gast. Fargast. Uh, I know him from the times when he was Gast Station. And yeah, he really, really likes Tanith. He really likes Tanith. So that's why I know she's a thing. And she's maybe the last character I know from this game. Or at least the last playable character I know from this game. So yeah. Princess Lindsay of Crimea, I presume. Yes? It is an honor to meet you. My name is Kat Tanith. I am Deputy Commanding Officer of Benion's Holy Guard. I must ask, uh, what would Benion want of me that she would send her Holy Guard to greet me? The Apostle has learned of you, Princess Alicia, and she has come here to meet you with you personally. The duty falls upon me to take you to her now. The Apostle? I, I might meet... Surely the Apostle has better things to do then. Will you accompany me? I suppose that I... We are the princess's escorts, and we will be coming with her. I hope you understand. Of course. Then yes... Uh, <laughs> sorry. Then yes, I will go with you. Thank you. Yeah, and there are Pegasus Knights with her, so... It's pretty obvious from the beginning what class she is. And maybe she's even a sort of Pegasus Knight. Because in this game they seem to, you know, they seem to be pretty flexible with the weapons classes have. So her wielding a sword maybe means she's going to be a sword Pegasus, which is not ideal to be honest. But newsman, we've sighted Lagos near the apostle's position. Birdman Kraus, most likely. Hmm. We've seen their kind before. They fancy they fancy themselves pirates without a ship, but they are thieves, plain and simple. Commander Sigrun is with the Apostle, and it will take more than a few winged scavengers to get past her. Sigrun. Let's remain calm. I, I, actually, I'm afraid we aren't quite sure where the Apostle is. What, they kidnapped the Apostle? No, no, I... From the what the Commander said, the Apostle grew impatient and had another of her more willful moments. I asked at the docks and... Sure enough, one of the long Shermen heard her order the ship to set sail without us. What? Where were her attendants? What was she doing without her guard? Why can't she never just stay put? After her time and time again that the seaports were are here are rampant with pirates and crowthas. Right, where is she now? No wind is poor today, so we think her ship should be not be far from us. I came here as quickly as I could. Understood. We'll move immediately. Excuse me, but is something wrong? Your Highness, I must apologize, but an urgent mother has a reason, and I must attend to it immediately. I will return to four years later. Uh, await my return. What was that all about? Judging from her expression, I'd say something has happened to the person she's meant to be protecting. Say, do you think that ship over here, over there is involved? The envoy is flying in that direction. If so, then the Pegasus Knight's fears have already been realized. They are under attack. It's the ravens they spoke of, isn't it? Like, why don't we go lend them a hand? I feel not right, sorry. <laughs> you okay, sorry? <laughs> Helping people? 
It's not like you to offer to help anyone. Literally said that even. It's a great opportunity to put the Empress in our death. And sorry, there's another... Like, you know... Maybe he has prejudice, but ever since Ike scolded him, he seems to have been getting over it slightly. He's just a, an asshole, and, and I, I don't know, I don't know, really like in Soren, to be honest. Might be one of my favorite characters, if not my favorite so far. Has a lot of dialogue too, so that that, that kind of that kind of helps. Uh, yeah, putting the Empress in order with the fools to pass the bat, wouldn't we? I should have known you'd have an angle. What do you want to do, Titania? I don't approve of Soren's motivations, but I agree that we should help. Well, then that's what we will do. You will be... Will you be all right on your own, princess? You're doing the right thing. I will not dream of stopping you. I know those pirates are no match for your still. Give them... Give them a sound Uh You're starting to sound like one of us, aren't you? All right then, we'd better go. Mm. Yeah, that does look like a sword. No matter how many we defeat, there are more waiting to attack. Not just those ravens of Kilbas even. There are Beorg too. Who do they all want here? Okay, so she says Beorg, which means to some extent she's, you know, educated. At least I don't expect her to start calling people subhumans. Need a little help? You, aren't you Princess Crimea's escort? Yes, the princess ordered us to come to your aid. May we join the frame? That would be appreciated. We'll keep the ravens at bay. In the interim, why don't you go ahead and move onto the ship? The big vessel is ours. I'm not sure who the small one belongs to. There are human soldiers aboard, but if they are in this part of the sea, they must be pirates. Cut them down. Right, we'll take care of them. Where on earth is the Holy Guard? Between those cars and the pirates, we we're outnumbered. It's only a matter of time... That Gatria? The big, big, big blue armor? Is that Gatria? Oh. Okay. I will fight too. You, you, you are one of the passengers from House Damiel, aren't you? I can't permit someone of your stature to throw her sunk into harm's way. I was once a knight of Benion, albeit for only a short while. I won't get in your way. No, I, I, I can't. You must defend the Apostle, right? We don't have the luxury of choosing how we do so. Come on, we must get ready. The enemy is coming. You, you are right, we need every able fighter. I've said my apologies and thank you for your help. It is Gatria. Lady Astris, allow me to serve as your shield. Gatria, I'm so sorry that I've gotten you involved in this too. Oh, please, this is nothing. I'm fine. Before I was hired as your bodyguard, I was a top-notch mercenary. I can handle this many opponents all by myself. This is nothing. Is that so? Your confidence is impressive, to say the least. <laughs> well, trust me, my confidence is back with my blade. I'm ready to fight. Oh, oh no, there are more of them. We're doomed. No, don't, don't panic. We must protect the apostle no matter what. It's an apparent scam. You may outnumber us, but we will not yield an inch. But wait, wait, don't get confused. I we're here to help you. We're your reinforcements. The deputy commander of the Holy Guard asks us to help drive the enemy from the ship. Oh, oh Commander Tanik sent you? We're saved. The Apostle has taken refuge in the cabin below decks. Until the Holy Guard arrives, we need you to defend the entrance to the ship's cabins. Got it. Weapons ready, everyone. So, I'm assuming I I'm assuming I can recruit both. Oh, those don't look like very good stats. Let's go different magic. 
Raises defenses. Only for soldiers, knights, and paladins. She's a bow knight. Ooh, bow knight actually doubles the experience points this unit gets. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Astrid. I have the faintest memory of you existing in the back of my mind. Uh, to be honest, I might I might be using her. Bows, I don't really... I'm not using any bows at the moment. And I've already checked that, you know, knights are very good. Uh, bows with Kanto actually look like a very good idea. You know, just snipe at someone and then run away. And we have Katri. Level 13. Okay, still lands. Yes, solid tanky unit. Okay. Let's fight. Transformation. So immediately we'll run ahead. Oh, these are enemies? Okay, there's a lot of enemies in here. This doesn't look like that easy of a map, to be honest. But you can only go down there, so... Okay, maybe I should prioritize... No, knives don't have range. <laughs> Let's go for this. A killer bow. Yeah, this is a straight girl will probably make a fine addition to the team. Okay, in here just in case, you know, the flyers get a bit crazy. Thank you, you... not the flyers, the, the archers, I meant. We just have to advance a bit, I guess. Tell me, worker, I'm a soldier proving useful. And um, I lied. This is one of the characters I know exist. Um, I don't think he's playable, to be honest. Uh, I seem to remember things about him that make me think he's not playable. And, well, he's obviously one of the bad guys, like the main bad guy in Kilbas. However, I think he is playable in Radiant Dawn. So that's like cool. And this guy, maybe it's the archer that has been chasing us from Toho. Yeah, Norris. Kilbas. What, aren't you happy to see me? Look at this mess, I paid you good money to help me outmaneuver everyone else. And catch the Crimean princess's ship first. Everything seemed to be going exactly as we planned. But now we're being attacked by a squad of Pegasus Knights. We're flying no flats. We'll first strip our armor of any crest. They should have no clue who they are. Why are they attacking us? Then you know. It's a Penguin ship you're attacking. What does? A Penguin ship? It was your feather brained lucky who told us the, brain, the Princess Crimea was aboard that vessel. What a miscommunication. One of those unfortunate misunderstandings that seem to happen now and again. You deceitful. King Kilbas, I wouldn't be surprised if you'd planned this treachery from the start. Such unkind words. You wound me. I would never intentionally lie to you. And as proof, I bring good news. I have it on unshakable authority that the ship that you just sailed up alongside Penions... Uh, alongside Penions carries the Premium Princess. Oh, but unless we can break through the Penion ranks, there's nothing we can do. Would you care for some assistance? Oh, no, 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 please don't. And what would it cost me this time? You learn quickly, my friend. Let's see, you'd be receiving my own royal assistance. So, double, no? Triple rates. Uh, Ludicrous, so much gold. Where would it... 
I suppose I could defer payment until later. Of course, that does bring up the question of interest. L leave my sight, I wouldn't seek your aid if the world were burning down around me. Very well, we have no more to discuss. Call me if, if you change your mind. I'll find a nice perch and enjoy the show. Of course you, you're no better than your pearl cousins. Okay, the fact that this guy is attacking Gatri, I think is just there to, you know, make Gatri show a little bit of. Oh, they have. Uh, okay, this is a javelin. So not that dangerous, but it's still not something I planned. Happening, especially because it could have been an archer. It could have been an archer, I just saw one. Oof. Oh, really? Really? I... Okay. Um... I mean, this definitely makes me want to... Reset. Mm, let me check the situation a little bit at least. First of all, getting the chest maybe wasn't a good idea. Maybe I should have prioritized, yes. Killing. Oh, they have javelins. Okay, the green units have javelins. Noted. Hmm. Yeah, here's a longbow actually. Why didn't you move? You could have attacked Yield the same turn. Not complaining, but Okay, here we have fire. Let's remember fire is effective against Lagos. Steelbow. Thunder against dragons. So effective against Yield. Okay, nice Sala is there. Together with an old man. Norris the archer. With a lombo. He's a sniper, actually. Okay. Yeah, we need to do things differently, so... I'm going to reset this chapter. I mean, can I recruit? Can I talk? Let's go for it. And maybe he will recruit Astrid in the process that those things sometimes happen, so... Gotcha? Well, if it is an egg. Good to see you. You're looking well, my boy. Yeah. I'm glad to see it. I've been worried sick about how the grilled mercenaries held up after I left. Did you ever record? We managed just fine. Uh, what are you doing here, anyway? Me? Oh, I'm on a vital mission. Absolutely critical, I am. You see, these men keep attacking the ship, and I am to continue driving them back. I see. Are you working for the Benyon Apostle? No, 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 my employer is far more charming. Is that so? On the sound of it, it must be a young lady. Hey, after a fashion. You see, by the look of things, you must be on Benyon's side, yes? I certainly hope so. I hate to have to slay you after all we've been through. No, you're right. We're here to defend the Apostle. Well, that's a relief. There's nothing more awkward than having to kill a friend because of this, of his poor taste in employers, I tell you. But still, I guess that's the harsh art of life as a mercenary. It's good to see you, Ike. Let's finish this together. I'm with you, Catherine. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He remains a green unit. So they get recruited at the end of the chapter, probably. Can someone please at a close range? Yes. There we go. This is a soldier. Wow. Okay. 
And Lagus are very broken. And very entertaining to use too. Like because the fact that at times they become unable to battle is yes. Is yes pretty good. And I also saw there are different items to allow you to bypass that. So yeah, yes, a very interesting mechanic overall. Okay. Uh, got a hit there where I probably didn't have a lot of... Ooh. Okay, fully expect to get doubled with a hand axe. Didn't remember you were a thing. Uh, Ravens 1 and 2. Second one goes for Leith though. That's probably good news. Because Leith is pretty strong. And she... Yeah. She one rounds them. Okay. Um, the thing is, I haven't given Leith bonus experience, right? This is just live on base. Here, this guy, for example, might survive because he doesn't get double. Yeah, so he just gets down to 3 HP. I'm in between, you know, completely ignoring Astrid and trying to talk to her with Ike so that maybe... Okay, that's actually good for me, like you're... Okay, well, to be honest, that isn't bad either. No! Why did you come to a head? What are you, fucking stupid? Why do you come to a head? L look at this, look at this, Astrid, this is a good movement. You weaken the enemy for me. You don't force me to use a range attack against a hand axe. Because that's basically what you did. You you forced me into doing that. Why not? Why not? Goes by Lombo. Oh, and that was a counter, right? I think that was counter. Finally activated. And we back down only one. Yeah, that's damage, but I can't really do anything else. I. Wow. Wait, can I? No, I can't rescue. Okay, I think I could maybe do it with you. Okay, do 17. Okay, let's take you out first. This is a sure way to do it. And then let's see what we do. My idea is this. Elwind or Thunder? Thunder. Rather go for Thunder if, if I can. Okay, so not bad. I can rescue with heal too. Uh, probably a rescue and drop because Soren is light. Yeah. Mm. Can you rescue Soren? Yes. I'm not going to rescue Soren uh, with Nefeni. What I'm going to do is rescue him with you and then take and drop with you. He has to be safe. Then we go here and we talk. You're right. But this is recruitment music, actually. Who are you? 
My name is Eric. I'm with the Green Mercenaries. I came to defend the ship and the Apostle, if I can. Is that so? I'm a state of house damage. A blue blood, huh? Well, unless you're good with a sword, you'd better hide yourself in a cabin. I do no such things. I once trained with knights and cavaliers, I may be of noble prayer. They know something of battle. I can fight. Well, if you can fight, we can use you. Let's work together. You going to be alright with that? More so than I would be with hiding below this, certainly. Recruited. Okay, so I should have gone for Astrid. And now let me... Let me guess. She can recruit you. Yeah, this music is here's recruitment. Got you? Lady Astrid, are you alright? What do you mean? I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? I saw you talking to that rough, blue-haired lad earlier. What did he say to you? Was he rude? Did he try to tell you to run for safety while he fought for your honor? Words to that effect, yes? Oh, what a fool. I tell you, he will never learn. You already have an unbeatable bodyguard. Me. I'll have to remind him of that later. You know that type person? He is the son of a man, under whom I had the honor of serving. He's not a bad person, by any means. But he has no manners whatsoever. I see. But he seemed more concerned than Bruce. When I told him I would prefer to fight, he seemed to understand. Hmm. Oh, oh, of course. I see it now. How silly of me. Not Ruth, you say? If you have known my presence, would have changed the boy for better. I'm the ideal role model. And that's how you... Well, the fact that they can rescue Gatria, but not her, because Gatria is less heavy. Okay, so Astrid the bow with Paragon, and you have no skill, right? Yeah. Uh, 15 capacity, 20 capacity. I'm starting to really see the 20 capacity on infantry. Was more like a theory, but now I'm starting to be pretty sure. This has to be like turn 3, right? Turn 3. Yeah. So it's doable. It's doable. And I want to heal Soren, obviously. He's the most hurting here. Really tempted to do this, but... I uh, think my best bet is to just stay with the javelin. Maybe the NPCs will go for something a bit more suicidal. Okay, this still bow went for me. Last all my plans were falling apart. I'll cut all you all down. Okay, maybe putting myself in range wasn't the best idea. But uh, Gatria was in range, so this would have happened anyway. I hope that this doesn't like provoke you or call uh, more ravens, because maybe he then... Like if he's in danger, he calls for Nessala's help. Nessala seems to just be looking from the border of the screen. Okay. Ooh, Killing Edge. Well, that's uh, dangerous if this was an Ike. Had to do my first reset in this map, by the way. Uh, so, not an Iron Man anymore, even though I let uh, Seahark die. Oof. Okay, I don't think these are related, but yeah, there are Raven reinforcements. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can I kill the boss? Because I'm going to try to, I think. Still lacks my highest damage, is 11. This is a still bow too, so I might be able to double with Mia. We go in here, and you are caught. Uh, I think Lith, her last round of battle, is going to be taking care of the guy in the back. Taking advantage of her high speed. By the way, very suitable for counter due to her having so much HP. Because even when she de-transforms, she will be able to, you know, have a chance of damaging the enemy. More strength is... Oh, 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 oh. 
just beautiful. Like, my strongest unit for sure. I understand that Lagos have their disadvantages, but still. Look at this. Beautiful. Alright, um, so 18. You know, she might have a, a slight problem with, you know, being able to do at least a little bit of damage. In fact, I don't think I'm going to do anything with her because she just doesn't reach. Yeah, it's going to be Oscar. It's level 14 for Gadget. Actually kept the experience because... Uh, I didn't use him and he seemed to be already close to level 14. So I actually use him in the appropriate way, I think. If he is close to the level of the rest of my army. And that's a kill. A curse grows. Ruin. You ruined all of my plans. And that's a level. Ooh, that's a very large amount of experience speed and defense and rest those are all very good news and we get a lombo the convoy yeah seems to me like only the ravens are left in the map okay lagus axe uh, is that effective against lagus yep one, two, three. Yeah, you can take this chest and this one, then this one. It's all lined up. Those humans take themselves far too seriously. It's almost as though being obstinate is a way of life to them. They let their foolish pride stand in the way, and what do they get in the end? A swift and a stupid death. Now I'm getting terribly bored merely watching their foolishness. Neslin, I can sense you're up to no good again. Nealuchi. Nestling. Nestling. What is Nestling? Stop calling me Nestling. Nestling. What? I I'll search it up. Stop calling me Nestling. Really, how many times must I tell you that, Nealuchi? To me, you will always be Nestling, Nestling. You can always, you can tell me as many times as you like, but they can't just do. You may be king now, but in my eyes you will ever be my little nestling, with action stuck to your tail feathers. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, probably, like, from the nest. Like your little, yeah, like someone from your nest. So not really like your child, but yeah. Ah, oh, curses. Sin all fool. Forget it. And they go away. Hey, you there. Yes, sir. We should take advantage of the confusion of battle to help ourselves to the cargo. These humans seem interested only in fighting their fellow men. If they can't be bothered to defend their treasure, I think it's fair to say they've lost their claim to it. Right you are, sir. <laughs> Buy it. Wait till you drop ground-bound humans. We kill us, we'll be sharpening our, bla our black beaks in the mean. Oh, come on. What the fuck are you doing? Well, the guy isn't part of this yet they said they are going for the cargo but I fully expect them to be doing some shit so occult what is occult? item that allows characters to acquire different skills depending on their class So like the ability, it's definitely a skill, well, uh, we, we'll have to check that later. 
Okay. Okay. More people, more people. Good, because the cast was very short. A battle. Tell me what you see, Yanaf. Oh, Yanaf. I actually knew Yanaf was uh, someone. I don't know if he's playable or anything, but I know uh, Noe catches a bird in Awakening and names it Yanaf, and that's supposed to be a joke. It's a bit far off, but with no fog, it shouldn't be a problem. The leadership is a bit orcable. By their crest, I'd say they save the they serve the hated Benyon Empire and the other ships. I'm not sure who they belong to. The other flies, any flag, and I see no crest, but they can make out more bear. On their behavior, I would say that one side ba fights Benyon, while the other rushes to Benyon's aid. A battle between the ships. I do not understand this at all. Ulki, tell me what they are saying. Okay, uh, Ulki looks like a speed. He looks, he looks like he's rushing ahead. Like his his whole face is aerodynamic. Just a minute, sir. The postal is about the venue ship. I'm coming for to her aid. Uh, Soldiers serving Crimean princes, they appear to be mercenaries. Not the last ship, or soldiers, although I do not know which country they serve. Seems they had a contract of some sort with the Raven King. The Apostle. That would explain the presence of those graceless princess knight. What would you like to do, your majesty? We would fight you. We would fight if you give the word. The Apostle. This is a tempting opportunity. However, we are no scavengers, feeding on others' scraps. When we fight, it will be with honor. Okay. So there are two birds, the ones that fight with honor and the ones that fight like uh, animals. To be honest, I prefer the, the crows. <laughs> We're going back home. Do some scouting and report back to me what you find. Yes, sir. So that, that was yes. Uh, oh, I think what, I know what they are going for. They are going for the chests. They are literally going for the chests. An energy drop. Well, I'm lucky for you. I have my whole plan set up. To defend the chests, so you're not going to be able to get them. And meanwhile, I'm going to try and do you harm. <laughs> I'm standing on water. Okay, that's that's a bit. That's not what's happening here. The game should know better here. Hmm. Well, it's damage. She has Paragon, right? No, Paragon. Yeah, Paragon increases experience gain, so. Holy shit. Okay. That's a lot. I mean, I have a Lagoose Guard. Has to serve some purpose, right? Actually, if I just surround this, because they can only attack through... Okay, am I wrong or... Yeah, they can't go anywhere. They are trapped. Wow. Because they have to... They, they can't attack, they don't have two range. That's weird. I'm not complaining, though. Yeah, they can move, but they can't attack. The problem is that currently I have... I have one unit to spare. I think I can block this, so that this is a safe spot. 
Ike goes up, and then you attack from here and take the kill, if you hit. And if you take the kill, I fully expect you to get 100 experience, to be honest. If you gain 44 just by attacking, then this should be 100. It is 100. Strength, speed, defense, all right, all right, all right. Okay, 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 okay. And now it's important to block that spot. Why did they move Ike there? I should have moved him. Mm. Okay, I think they found the escaping point. I don't think I can block it now. So we should just go for damage then. Where do you go? Uh, you go nowhere. My fellow soldiers, yes. Try and kill birds. Last turn, right? No, turn 9. But there's one more. The last chest has been taken. A long sword. Yeah, increase damage to horses. Enough? Enough! Enough to potentially take a kill with Astrid? Let's go! Let's go! That's good, that's good. Okay. Yeah, she makes this very easy, like. Definitely a trainee, good to gross to like strength, speed, defense. Don't know if I'm getting lucky, but uh... it's uh, an easy one. That's a critical. Yeah, that sounds like a critical. Pretty brutal. I can scale more magic for certain. Go here. And guess what? You're trapped again. I mean, this is turn 10, so this is the very end. Uh, if I could kill, let's try it. We just, you know, we respect the the lagoons and everything, but if there's an opportunity to cut some heads off, we don't discriminate either. Okay, so all the chests have been taken, all the units defended, and Astrid is level 3. And 84 experience. I don't think I could do better than this. So yeah. That's the end, right? That's the end. Oh my god. Why is every design good in this game? I don't know who you are. I've never seen you in my whole life. But... Already, like, you playable? Because three Pegasus, that sounds like playable. Uh, uh, okay, I, I definitely like, you know, hurting a little bit when deciding which, which units to use. That means the game is doing a, a good job. It happened to me a lot in Engage. Like, in Engage, I had to drop millions of units yes because i i wanted to use so many of them so yeah uh this is good news at least if she ever is usable i'm i'm going to hurt a little bit when deciding who i drop for her probably uh she hasn't even talked well, we're already deciding that finally there they are oh, she's also the captain of the holy guard right sigrun they said that before 
I hope we'll find the Empress Sanaki, safe and sound. Ladies charge, show them what we've got. And I of course know of Sanaki. I saw this coming, of course. You know, if they'd have spared me more, I'd have been willing to lend a hand. Oh well, what do a few human lives matter to us? They are more and they are none of our concern. We're done here, let's go. Yes, sir. Nesala is uh, incredibly based, not going to lie. That's it. It looks like the dust is finally starting to settle. It looks like those crows took flight as soon as the Holy Guard arrived. The other assailants fled, too. And our job here is done. Crows are one thing, but what were those men doing with them? Yes, I thought that was odd, too. They looked like pirates, but they certainly didn't act like them. True, they were an interesting in treasure, and their soldiers definitely were trained fighters. But who were they? Which country did they serve? Was this an attempt on the Apostles' life? It's possible. The Apostle is the symbol of the Menin Empire itself. Of course, they couldn't reveal themselves up as dying people because then sailing into Benion would be like a declaration of war and they don't want that. Politics. Politics! In my problem? The Apostle is its Empress. If she were to perish, it's fair to say Benion itself would perish as well. I see. The Apostle is missing? What do you mean? The voice. Something must have happened. L let's go find them. What is that voice? Oh yeah, Tanit. Ah, this business is becoming, is becoming quite the headache. I'm, I'm sorry, madam. If I can offer up my life in repentance for... Oh, stop it. If you want to repent, go do something useful and find the Apostle. Yes, ma'am. Did I hear correctly? Is the Apostle missing again? Oh, you're that mercenary. My men guarded the cabin entrance. As far as I know, we kept it safe from the enemy. Now what I have been told, the Apostle slipped out of the cabin in her own, in the chaos. On her own. Now why would anyone call the Apostle do something as stupid as that? Hey Ike, what's your word? You're being rude. It's alright, Dame Knight. I have more important matters on my mind. I hate to ask, but... Would I be able to enlist your help in searching for the Apostle? Of course. You don't mind helping, do you, Ike? Nah. For search... Nah. For searching uh, the enemy ship. Would you search your ship, just to be sure? I would appreciate it. He's going to find the Apostle and he's not going to think she's the Apostle, of course. I'll do what I can to find her, but I don't even know who I'm looking for. I think it's safe to assume she will be a woman of a stature. A noble woman of some sort. Huh. But I suppose all I have to do is keep my eyes peeled off for any stowaway. Anyone I don't know. Let's split up. I will go fa it will go faster if we search separately. Mr. and I will check this side. And so then I will search the rest of the ship. Sorry. Well, that's what I said this morning. Yes? But the way you phrase things. Uh, I, I also apologize for that. No, don't apologize. I know you, I know it's been bothering you, hasn't it? No. Well, don't take it personally. I'm no better, you know. Your ability to speak plainly the things others want is part of what makes you brilliant. Others are too bound by courtesy. With you, I trust you. What you say is exactly what you think. Well, yes, thank you, Ike. Now about that missing apostle. Oh, you found her? I don't think so, but there's a child stone. <laughs> there's a child stone away in here. What? <laughs> what is a child doing hiding in our ship? She must be some aristocrat's daughter. Probably asleep from from the Benian ship. It was a hectic battle. She must have frightened. Have been frightened and hid herself here in the confusion. Are you going to help her? Well, we can't just leave her. Hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Hey, don't be scared. Uh, who might you be? You don't look like a lagoose. Perhaps a new recruit? No, I'm 
a mercenary. I was hired by Princess Lindsay. The Crimean princess? Ouch. What's wrong? Oh, you, you hurt your foot. Let me see. Hold. Do not approach me. I told you not to. Ah, oh, you're hurting me, you fool. Looks like the bone's not broken. Still, we'd better have missed. Take a look at it, just in case. Oh, oh what, what, what are you doing? Just hush up and hold on to me. That's my sister. She can heal that foot of yours right up. Are you trying to help me? Shouldn't you be Esma? Supposed to be looking for some sort of a hostel person? They think there are enough other people looking, and I'd rather help the injured first. <laughs> I see. This is indeed... Uh, what is it? Oh, nothing. If that's the case, I accept your hand. Ike, any luck finding the puzzle? Nope. All I found was a little lost child. And she's quite a cutie. Miss, do you think you could use your staff to heal this kid? Yeah. Is she hurt? Yes, her foot. But maybe she bumped her head too. She's been mumbling complete gibberish since I picked her up. I have silence. Blame these antics on your ignorance. But I can no longer tolerate your manners. Huh? Well, what's wrong? It's your foot, isn't it? Prepare yourself, peasants. Prepare for what? You stand in the presence of Sanaki, Empress of Benyon. I am the apostle, the voice of the goddess. Empress. Oh, what did she say? What? The, then she is... Oh no, is she really? No, she can't be. No way. Hold your judgment. If she's laying, there must be a reason. You ignorant. Are you right, Empress? My apologies. We were unable to reach you and we left you in a ter in terrible peril. I accept full responsibility. You're late, Sigrun. What would you have done had something happened to me? Please, Empress, I beg your forgiveness. That won't be necessary. I'm also partly to blame for what happened. This focus is instead on our rescuers. As a reward for rescuing me, I would like to invite them to visit our court. And be sure that they that the one they serve, that girl who claims to be the Princess of Crimea, is invited as well. Princess Alicia's bodyguards, I presume. I'm sorry for the trouble you've gone to. And you are? I beg your pardon. My name is Sigrun. I'm a commander of Benion's Holy Guard. No word of thanks will ever repay you for saving the, the Empress. Wait. So it's true? <laughs> are you saying that little child is Benion's Empress? Huh, it appears so. I can't say I quite believe it, but she seems sincere. Besides, how many people do you know who command a legion of Pegasus Knights? The Empress has invited us to join her at Sien, the capital of Benion. I think we should go. Where is the princess? We should ask her permission before agreeing. She must be in the cabin. I'll take you to her. Okay. So, obviously, if you've been in the community for a while, you know of Sanaki. Especially because of... Uh, her design, like generally, I think most people know Sanaki exists and has that design, like it's a little girl. Uh, I don't know if everyone knows about her being the you know the Empress of Benion and everything. I did, so uh, this was like the last surprise for me with Naisal appearing and Tanith appearing and Sanaki appearing. Yeah, they literally cleared all the characters I knew from this game, which. I have to say it's pretty full of characters, like yes, even even the least relevant character in this game has more plotline like most modern Fire Emblem games. Like just look at Norris. He's presented on the previous chapter like two chapters ago when we were on the uh on the port. Norris was one of the people accompanying uh, what was his name? Ma Maloka or something like that, the, the boss on the port. And he talked with Maloka and with the 
with the Black Knight about chasing us. And he has been chasing us for two chapters where he finally reaches, but he has no flaps of dying because he doesn't want to warn off the 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 Benion Empire. But on the way, he has made a contract with Naesala, who's accompanied by his like adoptive father or nest father figure or something, uh, Nealuchi. So it's, it's just so, you know, it's delightfully full of relevant characters. I have to say, I'm, I'm loving the, the world building, like best world building I've seen in Fire Emblem by far by far like i don't think i don't think any game can compare i think the only game that has a similarly good world building like with many countries taking part of the interactions is f6 no bias it's my favorite Fire Emblem, but no bias at all uh but i i do have to admit that in f6 of course there are less side characters per country and some countries are just, you know, they serve a single purpose or you don't get to visit them or the politics are much simpler. Yeah, of course, there are revolts and alliances, mercenaries, uh, internal conflicts to some extent, but nowhere near close to this. Like this has to be, and the story is also very well written, like story wise and world building wise, this has to be the peak for me, to be honest. Uh, we'll have to see how it develops, but um, very positively surprised. The chapter was also pretty fun. Uh, not that easy, especially due to the green units. I I think probably the amount of green units you save gives you more bonus experience. I think trying to keep them all alive is a full surround. Uh Even if the crows weren't aggressive because they were going for the chests, for sure. I... I think keeping them alive just yes, against the first wave of enemies is pretty difficult when they are so suicidal. But yeah, we were able to clear almost every enemy except for one crow that managed to escape. We were able to get all the chests and we were able to train a little bit Astrid, who's probably coming into the team because that way I can get uh, probably the best bow user I can find because yeah, I, I could... I'm probably going to get Shinon back in the future. And yeah, that's going to be like one archer, one sniper and one bow knight. But honestly, Kanto is so good in this game, but I, I don't think... Like after promotion, Astrid should be better than Shinon. And I can give her some experience right now to start her off with. So yeah, looking good, good chapter, good story. Really liking this name game, like really liking it. Uh, 10 hours, and we're on chapter 13. How long do I expect this game to go for? Um, I always say, to me, the amount of chapters a Fire Emblem game lasts is between 22 and 27. I know it's like a pretty arbitrary number, but uh, strangely accurate, I found. Like, there's a margin of... It's around 25 chapters, no one can deny that. So this game has to be also around 25 chapters, which means we're more or less on the, you know, on the middle part. And yeah, uh, that's going to do it for this part, though. Uh, this has been Pomom. If you're liking, then consider liking, subscribing, leaving a comment. So I always say, and I will see you in the next part. Bye.